Mr. Thomas Henderson. Is there any chance you'd happen to be in possession of some illegally acquired photographs that would present a certain government official in very, very embarrassing light? I take it that's a yes. Troubles! Mr. Prime Minister, you dirty old dog. Come in. Sir, Commander Whitebrook. The Prime Minister has asked me to pass on the most sincere thanks for handling his private matter urgently and discreetly. I came close to mailing the photographs to his wife, but don't tell him that. Although, with all due respect, sir, I've always considered taking care of London-based gangsters, blackmailing and domestic hymen, more of the MI5's business. It would be, but the Prime Minister asked for you specifically. Your reputation has risen since the most impressive outcome of your assignment in West Germany. Making friends in high places can't be a bad thing. No, and you're about to make another, Commander. Now tell me. If you wanted to control every intercontinental ballistic missile in the Commonwealth, what would you need? That's a good question, sir. About my classification, but I would say first you'd need access to every British military installation with capabilities to launch such a weapon. Then, of course, you'd need to be able to arm the missile. My best guess is, in this day and age, both entry and detonation require a code. Therefore, there must be a list of each and every base, weapon and their specific codes. 
There is. We call it the Rainmaker. The person in possession of this list can literally make it rain hellfire at will. There is only one copy and it's been trusted to the hands of the defense minister. He must keep it to his side at all times. Since we are discussing this, I think it's safe to assume the list has somehow slipped out of his hands. I'm afraid so. The minister was attending a very secret peacekeeping conference that side of the Iron Curtain and left the Rainmaker unguarded to his shoulder room for the duration of the meeting. After he returned, the list was gone. KGB? They do have an agent in the area. Andrei Kulikov. But sir, if I may, it's hard to believe the Soviets would be interested in our missiles. They've spent the last two decades pulling the Yanks. I don't know why they'd suddenly shift focus, considering we've kept our sticks out of the beehive. Precisely. Personally, I think this Kulikov person saw a chance to make a big payday and went for it. The USSR might not care much for our weapons, but there are some that do. Remember this man. Yes, Conan Fitzpatrick. Long believed to be the current hothead driving ahead the IRA's more well adventures. Slipped out of our hands in Cairo last year. Consequently blew a bomb in central Birmingham that killed 33 people. Since the border campaign didn't go their way, it would certainly fit IRA's agenda to try a more persuasive approach. If the list ends up in the hands of Fitzpatrick, he could hold the entire United Kingdom hostage. Then we wouldn't have no choice but to give them anything they desire. We wouldn't like that too much now, would we? Most definitely not. Our current indices is likely that this KGP man Kulikov has offered the list to Fitzpatrick. We believe the deal is to go down the day after tomorrow near Belfast. Your mission, Commander, is to arrange a pleasant surprise for the two sides and retrieve the Rainmaker. I've always been a fan of surprises, so... I'm coming, I'm coming. Williver, what in the bloody Dublin do you think you're doing here? Do you have any idea what the time is? Mr. Fitzpatrick, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure of the time of the meeting tomorrow. Don't worry, I've told you countless times. Okay, last time you were late, Paul Billy really had to kill the fellow. It's too soon. You need to listen when I tell you the time of the music. Okay? And you can't just barge in here in the middle of the night when I'm having my time to reach you and tell you that it's me. It's fucking crazy. I fucking point of this too. When we have a meeting tomorrow, yeah. you can't just start painting yeah. like a fucking reverend full of sin. You can't do it. You can't just start listening about my music, okay? Huh? 
I told the first year, okay? <laughs> Okay, Rory. He he hear me out, chap. If you don't show up this time, you know the consequences, okay? We're starting to believe your faith in our cause is not pure strong. Yeah. I'll come if I'll be there. You better. Can I have a smoke? Ah, make it quick. I've got to go to sleep. Evening. Smoke and kills. Nice to finally meet you, my friend. Do you have it, Kulikov? Oh, a man of the cause. No bullshit. Do you have the rainmaker? Do you have the money? We have a man on Overwatch. Try to ruin and he's got you, fella. Checker, you not trust me? You just told me you have a man with a rifle aimed at my head. A little caution goes a long way in this business.
the rainmaker. I think it's safe to assume you're not Fitzpatrick's Overwatch. No. And that must have been yours. Yes. The money was mine too. But now it's all smoke and ashes. My apologies, but... In all fairness, I'm just doing my job. This wouldn't happen to be official KGB business, no? Of course not. KGB and IRA working together, now that's a little too thick. This is just my little side business, and you have made it uncomfortably difficult, whoever you are. Whitebrook. Commander Whitebrook. British intelligence? If I told you, I would have to kill you. You'll have to do it anyway. Just business, as you said? Oh yes. Just business.